Hey guys, Ethan here. Today I wanted to make a video talking about creating your own custom portage repository for Gentoo. A custom repository is any repository that isn't default on Gentoo, so the only one that comes with Gentoo is called the Gentoo repository, and it's the official uh, database of all of the all of the e-builds in the packages. So the first thing I want to show you is where you can find these databases. So if you go to var, db, and repos on your system, and you type ls, you can see a list of any repository that you've ever added or that you currently have. So you can see here, this is Gentoo right here, and this is the official one. So to take a look at the anatomy of one of these repositories, let's enter it in ls. Something that you'll notice is that there are the prefix or the initial groups and within these groups are the packages. So if I want to go into um, app emulation, you'll see inside of here are folders for everything. So we can find wine, which is right down here. We can find spice, etc. And inside of these, so let's go back in app emulation and let's go into wine vanilla. We'll find our e-builds and what this means is that if we were to create our own repository, we could add our own e-builds and have our own groups, etc. But there's a couple more things that you need to do besides just add these. So first of all, there is a need for metadata. And what this means, and I'll, I'll pull up my uh, Gentoo repository to use as an example here. Inside of my repository, we have my packages and we have the metadata and profiles folder. So these these files, they're very basic, so I'll be showing you how to make them, are just required so that you don't have any errors thrown at you when you make your own. So let's talk about actually creating these repositories now. To show this, first let's talk about how to emerge eSelect repository. eSelect repository is a tool that you're gonna use. It's integrated into the whole eSelect syntax and it's gonna let you select and deselect repositories that you wanna create. So first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is emerge the software. So let me just zoom in my terminal here. So emerging the package is very basic. The only use flag that there is is test and you don't actually need that one enabled. So you can see the mine's already installed, so I'm not gonna reinstall it. Now, following the wiki, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is create a repos.conf, though this should already have been created to uh, when you initially started up Gentoo. But in case you don't have it, we're just gonna ls this directory to check if we do. You can see inside of here we have eSelectRepo.conf, eSelectRepo.conf, Gentoo.conf, and layman.conf. So this is just the, the file that will be created. And here's what the actual file looks like. So in the case that the file does not exist for you for some reason, you can find it right here. Now to actually add your own repositories, there are two ways to do it. So first of all, assuming that you want to enable something official or something already cataloged, like the Guru overlay. You can type with sudo, of course, eselect repository list, and I prefer to grep for the one I want. So I'll say guru. So what it's doing here is it'll pull a little database, it'll pull a repository XML so it knows what it has, and then it'll tell me, okay, guru is number 159. And what this means is if I want to now, I can enable either 159 or Guru itself, though it's already been enabled. Now to add a repository that does not already exist is pretty basic. So the syntax is as follows, and I'm gonna open up my, uh, my GitHub because it's already listed here. So what you want to do is the syntax goes, I'll, I'll put it into my terminal so you can see. eSelect repository add and then the preferred name of the overlay, the type of overlay, so in this case it's git, the URL that links you to the overlay. So here is eSelect repository add, ethan nij overlay, git, 
https colon slash slash all this whole url to the github repository and if i now check my repositories ethan nij overlay is right there what that means is that if you were to create any github repository you can add it as an overlay and of course you don't want to do this normally you only want to do this on ones that are meant to be overlays but with that in mind you can either create your own local repository and the way you do that of course is just creating a directory in var db repos and now you have your overlays in there or you can do it over github like i prefer to so let's talk about actually creating the overlay now the first thing that you want to do is press new on your repository on GitHub and call it something. I'm going to call this overlay. I'll call this actually testing overlay because I'm going to delete this when the video is over. Now for the description, you can say anything you want. I'm going to leave it just blank. You want these to be public because if they're private, I'm not sure if you can get them to work. You can include a readme or not. It doesn't matter. I'm going to leave it out this time and create the repository. Now inside, we need to create a few files. So let's head over to creating a new file right here. And the first thing that we want to do is create a metadata. So actually what we're going to do is create a directory, but I believe we can do that here. So let's see, where can we do that? It may actually just be easier to do it this way. So we're going to say metadata. I'm going to put a slash that will create the directory. It's similar to Linux syntax and let's just pull up the existing one. So inside of the metadata file, we want layout.conf. So let's go make that here. And inside of layout.conf, we want to set masters equal to gen2. So let's create that and we'll save the file. Let's head back to the root of our overlay and we're going to create another directory. So let's go ahead and create a new file. And this one is going to be our profiles. So it's going to be called profiles and repo underscore name. Inside of this file, we just want to set in plain text the name of our, our overlay. So in this case, this is called testing overlay. We're going to go ahead and commit this. And we're almost done. The last thing that I want to do is actually create an e-build, but we're going to do this once we import the overlay. So at this point, this is done. We have the testing overlay. It's time to actually import it. So the way we do that is we go e-select repository add. We're adding. We're going to call this testing overlay. Get in the, the URL is github.com slash Ethan NIJ slash testing dash overlay. So this has all been added. And now if we do a sync, it'll have to update the metadata cache. Thankfully though, there's no metadata to update, so it shouldn't be an issue. But that being said, if we had to, we'll actually move to it our overlay exists. Now we're going to quickly demonstrate that the, uh, what do you call the software can actually be installed from here. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy from my existing overlay, uh, 3ds tool. So I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to drop an e build in creating e builds is a subject for another whole video. It, it might not even be something I can make into a video. It, it's kind of a process. The wiki will help a lot more than I could. So we move a package into it and actually we're going to run another sync because we've just updated the repository. So we're going to let that sync and we'll get back when it finishes. So here we are. That was pretty quick. So if we now EIX, EIX is just a, a tool that people use to uh, take a look at packages in real time. So let's take 3ds tool and we'll see that this software is actually available from the testing overlay. So if I wanted to, and in this case, I'm just going to say, uh, accept keywords are equal to all just so the program will install 3ds tool and we actually have to we have to specify which overlay we want it from so we're going to say colon colon testing overlay 
and we're gonna let this move for a little bit and here we are so it's gonna pull up the package that we are looking for so you can do this with any package and make your own like I have and host them there if you want and that's how you create your own package uh, overlay on Gentoo Linux. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments. If you need support, join my Discord server and I'll try to help you as soon as I can. Uh, if you want to see more of my content, consider subscribing. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.